think the hardest part of this, and it may have been just the unintentional, um, not addressing because it's extremely tragic. The Toyota Sienna van had seven occupants, four juveniles and three adults, and all three, all seven succumbed to their injuries. We continue to cover this car crash casualty that happened here in the Valley that's devastating many and the acting chief of North Las Vegas police visibly was shaken as she shared details on this mass casualty crash that happened in North Las Vegas. Authorities now say the driver of a Dodge Challenger was going more than 100 miles per hour when the car slammed into four other vehicles at the intersection of Cheyenne and Common Street. And nine people were killed just hours ago. The Clark County coroner identified eight of them. They include five-year-old Fernando Mejia, 10-year-old Adrián Zacarias, 13-year-old Yuvia Zacarias, 15-year-old Brian Zacarias, 23-year-old Gabriel Mejia Barrera, 25-year-old David Mejia Barrera, and 35-year-old Jose Zacarias Caldera. All seven of them were in the same van. And the coroner says 59-year-old Gary Robinson was a driver of the Challenger. They have not identified his passenger just quite yet. And tonight we're learning more about Brian Zacarias. He was a 15 year old killed in this crash and 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey talked with some of his friends who are remembering him tonight. The only thing that remains from a crash that killed nine people Saturday is a twisted metal fence and a makeshift memorial built for a Rancho High School student by his friends. He was 15 years old and one of seven people who were killed in the same car. Photos from North Las Vegas police show the utter devastation of a speeding Dodge Challenger colliding with a van carrying seven people. The nine people in both cars all died. And all day Sunday, friends of one of the crash victims, Brian Zacarias, came to the place they lost him, trying to honor his legacy. He's our age, so really crazy. I can't, I can't really imagine what his family is going through, man. As day turned to night, Zacarius' Rancho High classmates and friends added to the little pile of items. Teddies for the victims as young as five, flowers for his memory, and personalized candles to light the way. We just wanted to make sure he got a, a gift from part of a group. Zacarius's friends say he was an avid weightlifter and the life of any room he walked into. He was very outgoing. He was, uh, he was like the funniest person around. He, he knew everybody at the school, everybody knew him. For some, the reality hadn't set in just yet that such a tragedy could have happened here to the friend they just talked with, the one they thought they'd be able to call again. Shocking, no words, because it's crazy. I was just talking to him Friday, all this time, we've seen him at school, talking to him, and then just like that, he's not here with us no more. This group says many are planning to wear all black or all white to school in Zacarius' honor. We're going to miss him, and I love him, and I know I'm going to feel the impact tomorrow at school. Now, the federal government is getting involved in this investigation with the National Transportation Safety Board saying that they are sending a GO team to help North Las Vegas police. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News. A very difficult situation there in Canyon Springs High School, which is just a few blocks away from the crash, saying on Twitter, quote, the Canyon Familia wants to send love and light to the families involved. They went on to say our hearts are with everyone who was affected by this tragedy and students resources will be made available via our canceling department if needed. Meanwhile, officials are demanding change and County Commissioner Milliam McCurdy, the second represents the district where this crash happened. He is calling for people who speed regularly to use this as an example of the terrible consequences of their actions. Number one, just pay attention to the to the posted speed limits. Let's start there. I mean, we have laws in place, uh, but what we are seeing is people are time after time breaking the law. Uh, it's posted 35 miles per hour coming down commerce going, you know, south to north. Police tell us the only known factor in this crash is speed. Again, that Challenger was going more than 100 miles per hour. It's not clear if anyone was impaired.